All right, it's Monday, Christ and Titans time. The two for let's get into it. Professor X, blue, purple, and yellow user. His blue ability is a passive, makes a match five or greater. Then the professor gains AP in the strongest color, deals damage to us, all that good stuff. It's purple ability, cost seven, called blind spot. It'll create a will convert a basic purple tile into an invisibility tile and while that tile is invisible Professor X isn't going to be dealt any match damage any uh, power damage but any moves that deal team damage it will go past the professor's invisibility and then finally his yellow ability which is kind of irrelevant because a he doesn't have any teammates since this is a one-on-one -on -one fight Secondly, he can't fire off any team up abilities because if he could, he would get um, attack tiles, protect tiles, and strike tiles on the board, you know, at random levels and random, random point. I mean, not <laughs> random points at random uh, damage levels at the certain points. So, only thing we really have to worry about is purple and blue, but again, that's more detailed uh, once we get into, you know, the fight itself. His affiliations for those that care, or, you know, some of the ones that can't rem I can remember, Heroes, X-Men, Illuminati, Geniuses, you know, all that good stuff there. Night Nightcrawler. We're going to use our 278 for the fight, but to understand all the Nightcrawler's abilities, we're going to use the 370 as our baseline to uh, to see all the damages that he does. Bamp costs seven. Uh, it converts up to eight basic tiles on the board uh, that is the most present on the board, meaning if you happen to have black tiles on the board when you fire off this ability then most of those tiles that's on the board are going to convert to black tiles and you know do all your shenanigans that way uh, if it happens to be purple then you can do purple so you can infinitely loop the board and then passively if the enemy team well if the enemy would do team damage then Nightcrawler will go airborne for one turn instead uh, at lower levels uh, converts up to six and then seven you know all that good stuff there on guard because nightcrawler is both a pirate and he's a member of excalibur you know this kind of fits into his his theme so what he'll do is he'll do damage to the target for now red ap but if you happen to have 10 ap in your strongest color then you deal the 16,735 damage instead and finally, everywhere at once is his very expensive blue ability, which costs 12. Uh, it deals damage to the target for each point of AP and the enemy's strongest color, and it steals two of that AP. So let's break this here down. So if Professor X happens to have 10 AP in blue because blue happens to be the Professor's strongest color, then you're going to deal deal 10,000 damage because again. 10 times the listed damage, 10, oh, 1042, and then you're going to steal 2 blue AP. Then at higher levels, uh, 1265, and you steal 3 AP, and then uh, at level 5, 1786, and then 4 AP in that color. As far as affiliations for Nightcrawler goes, Heroes, Mutants, Excalibur, for those that care all right so I need to uh, get this nightcrawler here his uh, his ability straightened out real quick so the main thing we want to do with nightcrawler we want to we want to chase after purple we want to deny the professor his purple as well and the reason why we want to deny professor purple 
Uh, if he starts to go invisible, we don't have too many ways of getting him out of invisibility, save for using BAMF to, uh, to convert purple tiles on the board. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. And like I said, since the AI would prioritize match 5, to so go ahead and get that match 5 out of the way right now. Uh, we'll chase this one here. Get some purple. Let's take a look and see. Green. So no no sense in using Banff just yet. Let's try and get some, some of those green tiles off the board. Or that to prevent the professor from matching any more purple. Okay, black, because again, we, we mentioned blue, but... Or no, I actually did mention black in the, uh, in the example. Let's go yellow, get rid of some of that. Blue, again, blue is kind of irrelevant, because again, that's passive for, for the professor active for us there's green take that there I'm just trying to okay well we'll go ahead and deal the 82 and end the fight I was gonna try and use pamp while with purple but eh. that's all the rewards there uh, thanks Alliance for playing, as per usual, five health packs, which is, you know, okay, cool. Alright, so, I'm not going to say I had a sneaky suspicion that it was going to be the four-star rock in a group, but who, uh, but who else could it be other than the four-star rock in a group? Um, blue, yellow, and green, uh, they actually do have ways to counteract, well, but well, we have one way to counteract one of their their abilities in just a second, y'all. What's up, mom? All right, let's get into Rockin' and Groot's abilities oh, before I get interrupted again. So blue cost 12, and what it'll do, it will create a blue repeater tile that that's one turn. And then whenever to, ah, when that repeater tile counts down or repeats, it'll create a black attack tile and it'll do damage at the start of the turn. So the, the black attack tile, again, the damage doesn't really matter because, again, we're gonna be, we'll be using my 370 Nightcrawler. So keep that in mind. Welcome to the team. This is Rocket's passive and what it will do it'll create strike tiles on the board uh, at higher levels will have more strike tiles on the board and it would be sh even stronger if you have members of Guardi uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy on your team you know at the start of the fight and then finally don't push this button is their green ability it costs 10 it will create a three turn countdown tile on the board while the countdown tile is on the board Groot will make an auto match prioritizing you know match fours match fives you know whatever colors on the board and then rocket will be able to make a match as well and then when the countdown tile reaches zero then it'll do team damage to our team but if we happen if that countdown tile happens to be matched um, you know, by either of us, then it's going to be dealing damage to Rocket and Groot and a lesser amount of damage to us. But since Nightcrawler can go airborne, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, as far as the affiliations go, Guardians of the Galaxy, Heroes, you know, all that good stuff there. All right. So how do we tackle Rocket and Groot? Pretty much not let them have blue not let them have green strike tiles are pretty much gonna be non-existent for the fight I mean it's gonna do a little bit extra damage but not enough to a 370 nightcrawler uh, change out to purple 
so that you can get your BAMF off, you know, try and get as much of that as possible. And yeah, I'm gonna let my matches do the talking. Now you can see kind of how I wanted to do that fight with the professor, get as much purples on the board as possible, and then, you know, start the BAMP loop. Uh, as far as characters that I have paired up Nightcrawler in the past with, I did one with Domino, the four star Domino, and the four star Black Widow. And the reason why, why I was pausing, because I was trying to think, did is Black Widow one of those ascended fives? Well, four stars, not yet, anyways. But the idea behind the idea behind how that team works is that you want to use the the passive of oh my goodness, where is Domino at? Let me get her colors. So you want to use the passive of Domino, her her black passive. So what her black passive does is a it makes it makes uh bull take <laughs> boards it makes tiles at the top of the board uh, a higher percentage of being black. So each time when you fire off Nightcrawler's purple, there's a chance to make make tiles on the board black. All right, then you're gonna use the black from Black Widow. Let me get her. You're gonna use her black and her yellow ability. Her yellow ability brush pass. Again, um, ally powers cost three less AP to fire. So that's gonna make her lights out instead of it being. 8 AP, it'll be 5 AP. So you'll be stunning the enemy. You so you'll be stunning all your enemies for for the maximum amount of turns, and then you're going to be stealing AP at the at the start of each turn. So that's the that's the idea behind that. And then you're going to keep looping the board with Nightcrawler's purple to make sure that you get more black on the board to keep the enemy team stunned, so on and so forth. And again, I've used it before, you know, to to various success. And uh, I even think I had a few videos on uh, YouTube uh, showing showing the team's success. And then I know I got the idea from 
from a YouTuber. I want to say it was Jojo Jones. If I believe it was him or them. Because the only person I could think of that was that was actually using the team. I'm like, oh, this is actually pretty useful. So there's there's that. So next week is going to be another classic character, North Star. But uh, North Star got reworked, so we'll be able to uh, talk about him. Because I think the last time we did the crash, it was with his old abilities. So we'll be able to talk about talk about North Star and his new abilities. Uh, let's see here. I think that is all. All that I can see. Now that the, the now that the rain is gone, so and thank you all for watching. You know, be excellent to your fellow human beings, and I'm gonna catch y'all um next video, whatever that may be. Peace.